All right, guys, it's here. I was really not expecting BoxyCharm to get here this quickly. Um, it is the 17th that arrived a little bit earlier today. I got an email a couple of days ago saying that, you know, they try and get everybody's boxes to them by the 15th, but they were behind. I was expecting it to be like last month where we got it like the 28th. So when it showed up today, I was like, Oh, okay, not bad. So I don't know how to feel. Um, I've seen a lot of mixed things uh, from customers complaining about like issues with getting in touch with customer service. I've seen people like not happy with the spoilers and stuff. From what I've seen, cause I do follow Boxy, obviously I know what I picked for my customization option. I liked that. And I'm hoping that I know they have the Pure Festival 2 palette, which I actually didn't know was out. I'm really hoping I got that. If I got that, this box is one of the best that I've gotten all year. I love Pure. Um, I got the Festival 1 in a Boxy charm a while ago. That's actually what I use today to like manifest good energy. So I don't know, I'm rambling a lot, but uh, just kind of some before thoughts. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited to see. So let's jump in. Boxy charm, July, 2020. Let's do this. I think I got it. I'm so, if I didn't get it, I'm gonna be sad, but I think it's down there, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move through this. It's, my excitement is, it's here, but okay. And they did give us a price breakdown too. Ipsy has taken that away from the Ipsy Plus. Uh, like the past like two to three months, we haven't gotten that price breakdown and I really miss it. I like having a cohesive sheet that tells me what each product is worth and therefore I can add it all up and determine if the box is over the value they promised and like kind of what the, the retail value would be of it. So I'm excited that uh, Ipsy or Ipsy, that BoxyCharm included that uh, this month because I think there was a month or two they didn't have it either, so. All right, so the first thing we got here is a quick color switch dry makeup brush cleaner. I believe I actually have received one of these in a FabFitFun. I know I have one. It was either in a FabFitFun or a free Ulta gift, but basically the concept is like you get this little like, it looks like very soft, what's it, what, steel wool. That was the word that I was looking for. It looks like very soft steel wool. And I think you're supposed to be able to just rub your brushes on top of it. Um, I've actually seen some people add just like a little bit of like makeup remover to it as well and a little bit of water to try and help with it every time i've used my old my other one dry it doesn't seem to work that well but it does its job like it does take it off but i already have one so I'm like am i thrilled to get it no but do i think it's a good product and one that we haven't seen before yeah i do so not a bad product all right the next thing we got here is what i chose it is the clean skin club vitamin c brightening booster if you guys watch me do unboxings i normally don't like skincare but most of their choices i believe this month were skincare um, and I actually really like vitamin C serums and it's a great size. I mean, it is full size, but it's it's a really nice one, nice durable one. And I, when I was looking at it, I was like, I could go price check everything, but I didn't feel like it at the time. So I was like, this is probably gonna be the, the biggest retail value. Like this is probably gonna be the most expensive one. So that's why I decided to do it. Normally those type serums, they come with like a 68, $70 price tag. So we'll see when we check the list if I'm right, but that's what I would guess it's gonna cost. This is from Hank and Henry and I think I think they've given us Hank and Henry products before. I think maybe like an eyeliner or a mascara, maybe both. Maybe we've gotten both in the past, but this looks like a, okay, this looks like a lipstick, but it's the, do you guys see that packaging? Holy cow, I, I, oh, that's so cool. I don't know why people hated this box, but I am in love. Do you, can you guys see this? I don't, it's like the most beautiful glitter lipstick. I don't ever want to, it looks like suede. I have boots that look like this. I don't ever want to use it. I want to frame it. I want to put it in the Louvre. I want it to be, this is a work of art in my opinion. I'm I'm so excited. I was not expecting this this month. I really had seen a lot of hate and I don't really watch boilers, but just people were like, wow, Boxy's sucking. Boxy's not doing well. And I am thrilled right now. I'm like over the moon with this. So I, okay. All right. Next thing we got is a, Brow micro sculpting pencil. Obviously I do my brows every day. Brow products are a huge thing for me. I love getting them. And I don't feel like we get them a ton in subscription boxes. So once again, really happy with this. Um, this brand, it looks like, I, it, maybe it's Hourglass. Maybe that's the brand. It's, yeah, I'm thinking that's the brand. And it does come with a nice little spoolie on the end. Nice little uh, container and a very thin, like one of those good ones for like, you guys I'm sure can't see it from this far away, but it's that really nice kind of like almost oval shape that would really be good for like trying to go in there and create those brow fibers. Yes, I got it. I'm so excited. I This is the only spoiler that I really actively looked at. Um, they had three different palette options. It was the Pure Festival, 
to the um, Ace Beauté, uh, I think it was a cheek palette and then an Ace Beauté bronzing palette. So uh, any of the boxes were gonna come with a palette and honestly, I would have been fine with any of them. I just love Pure so much and I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know this was on the market. So I was like, <gasps> that exists, I want it. Oh yeah, oh no. Yes, it's broken, it's broken. I got so excited just to be disappointed. Damn it! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because- I don't think I can lift it and really show you guys. Nikki will have to get it, but like this color is messed up. He looks like he's been touched. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna move on past that. I was so, I celebrated too soon that I got arrogant. That was the issue. God was like, no, bad. Gotta put you in your place. So uh, yeah, unfortunate that it's broken. I honestly probably could still use it. I'm gonna email them just to see what happens and I will keep you guys updated on that story. Box wise though, I love it. Um, if Besides the broken product, which I can't blame that on them. I don't think that's them. I think that would have to be a shipping issue. Um, yeah, unfortunate, very unfortunate. I'm gonna try and not be sad about it even though I'm devastated. So yeah, so let's look at what we got here. A great product, one of the best we've seen, especially coming off a Lux that I thought was awful. It was the worst Lux we've ever received. That was the June Lux. But the box before in May, I was in, I was incredibly excited about. So, um, so I like this box a lot. Uh, yeah, I think it's well worth my money. Hopefully they can maybe replace the palette. I don't know. I know it's hard and I know people are complaining about not being able to get in touch with customer service. So that worries me a little bit, but let's look at the price breakdown. Nikki's got his handy dandy calculator all ready to go. Uh, so we've got the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Serum. What I chose was actually $49.95, so that's not what I thought it was gonna be, but still very high product, high price product. Um, the Hourglass Brow Pencil was $28. The Pure Cosmetics Festival Palette was $36. The Hang & Henry Lipstick was only $17. Honestly, y'all, I don't. I would never pay more than $17. I would. I don't really even pay $17 for a lipstick, but I just love looking at this so much. Like this is, I would expect it to be more expensive. I love it. I'm, I'm so into it. Because my palette is broken, this is probably my favorite product, if I'm being honest. Um, and then the Lavish Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner is $20. Honestly, that is the least favorite product that I got here, but the box itself retails at $150.95. I think they promised like $120 or $100. I think it's $120, I don't remember anymore. But I think it's well worth it. Definitely disappointed with the whole uh, the whole broken palette thing. That is, that is unfortunate. But I mean, you know, it does happen, I'm not mad. I am very interested to see if I can get in touch with them. I've learned, just as a quick tip, if you guys have also had issues getting in touch with customer service, emailing them is pointless with a lot of places. Ulta's good about responding, but uh, like BoxyCharm, Ipsy, if you have an issue, it's smarter to reach out to them on Twitter, or Instagram. Every time I've had an issue with any of my boxes or products, when I reach out to them on a social media platform, they respond like that. And if I email them, it's days before I hear anything back. So I probably will Instagram them just because I've done that before. Um, send them, I normally just send a picture and be like, hey, and I will let you guys know what happens with that. If I get a replacement, if I don't get a replacement, if I, you know, like I said, I probably could fix it. I might be able to like repress it with alcohol, but I hate doing that, so. Annie who's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure. I've consistently been happier with BoxyCharm than Ipsy, but I've seen a lot. I posted my Ipsies. I liked my little Ipsy bag. I did not like my plus this month. Um, I'm interested, I always love seeing with you guys, um, what you got in your boxes, were you happy with it? What what are your complaints if you're not happy with it? Cause I definitely think, I think the issue with these boxes is everybody has different preferences and opinions. And so a lot of times somebody might love it and somebody else might hate it. It just kind of depends. And so I, I do kind of have to tip my hat to them for doing what they're doing. Cause it's a very challenging thing to try and please everybody when you're doing a blind box. But yeah, I, your, your your feelings are valid too. You know, complaints and stuff are valid too. So if you guys loved your box, if you hated it, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that too. We're fun here. We like to do unboxings and sometimes I get devastated on camera and that's always fun to watch. Like when that soul crushing moment when you're like, <sighs> so subscribe, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.